Hey everybody, Lewis here, Our Shack Barbecue and other things. So today I am doing a appetizer. Uh, I'm going to do some stuffed jalapeno poppers. But I'm going to do them a little bit different um, ingredient wise. Let's so, get in here and cut into some jalapenos and see how this turns out. Such a beautiful day too. Wish I could fire this up today, but uh, just doing t like 10 poppers, so don't need a fire or the old raging rooster. Regulators! Mount up! Okay, 10 jalapenos here. We've got some uh, Tillamook Original Cream Cheese. Uh, it says farm style. I got some prosciutto, and I've got some homemade apricot pepper jelly. Now I didn't make this, a friend of mine made this, but we'll give this a try. And then I've got some uh, all-purpose original barbecue rub. So first thing we want to do is glove up, because if you know me, I don't want to touch these jalapenos and get those seeds, any of the juices on my skin, and then touch places that, uh, well, let's just say it's going to burn. So safety first. All right, let's put the prosciutto away. I also have some toothpicks. Now when I go get my jalapenos for poppers, I like to try to find the straightest as possible. Um, you'll notice some have a kind of a little bit of a curve to it, but that's okay. I just prefer to try to find straight ones. I've got a spoon here. Actually, I'm going to use this spoon. And I have a knife. Regular old chef's knife. But what I like to do is cut the end off like uh, so, and we'll just dispose of that. There's many different ways that you can make your poppers. So I got this, and what I'm going to do is go over to my garbage can here, and I'm going to devein it. De-seed and devein with a spoon. I find a spoon is the best thing for it. Um, and then this one is a lightweight spoon so it can really uh, dig in there and get it you don't need to get a thick spoon to do this just a nice thin one so you can see there we got it all done we'll do the other half like so as much as that vein because the vein and the seeds are what have the heat in it and the majority of the heat so now I got my boat part and then I have my cap and we'll get into that in a little bit so we'll get the rest of these done and we'll talk about that so if it the other thing if it does have a slight curve to it what I like to do is uh, cut down the length of that curve so you can see the curve kind of curves this way and I got it like that all right let's get it deveined so what you're seeing I'm doing here I'm taking this spoon and I'm just kind of cutting it basically and then I'm using it as a scoop like so and get all that inside stuff out of there. And I'll show you. Like so. Something like that. Get rid of the seeds. And I got a paper towel here to clean off my board. But I generally do this over the garbage can so I don't get seeds and veins on my cutting board all right so I'm gonna go through and finish all these up and show you the next step okay so you can see I have them all cut now uh, and I have their halves together so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this Tillamook cream cheese and this has been sitting out uh, this morning um, it's not quite as soft as I would like you could throw it in the microwave and soften it up a little bit. Um, but we're just going to go like this. I'm going to feel 
one half of our boat like that. And we got our apricot pepper jelly here. And what we're gonna do, is we're gonna give it a quick little stir. Like so. Mm. Boy, if you could smell that. Let me just take a little taste of it. Mm. Oh yeah, it's got some heat. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to spread it over the top of that cream cheese. And we'll just put a little more in this side of the boat. Like so. Right. And we'll try to put a little bit of cream cheese on this side. If we can. <laughs> Oops. And I've got two jars of cream cheese just in case. All right, so there, there we got our cream cheese and that. We'll put it like that. And there you go. Then we'll take a piece of our prosciutto that I got. I got this at Costco. So maybe if we go like this. Let's take our jalapeno. And we're just going to try to roll it up here. Get it all the way around this thing. If we can, without too much difficulty. Slide it up like so. And we'll take a toothpick. Put it through there like that. Set that one aside. I'll show you that again. So I'm going to do the rest of these and we'll come back. All right, we have all 10 of them wrapped. So now all I'm going to do is take a pan that I put a piece of foil and then I have a rack in it. Set that there. And we're just going to line them up on here. Try to make it so they all fit, which I don't think will be a problem. But you never know. All right, something like that. Then what I like to do is put a little bit of barbecue rub on it. And this is Weber's uh, original. Now I'll give you a tip. I get this at the old Walmart. And generally, at least my Walmart, they don't stock it in their barbecue section. It's actually over in their grocery section um, where they have it with their other seasonings and spices. Uh, so you might look there and see if that's where they got it. And surprisingly, it's not that expensive compared to the other ones. Like, uh, for example, I get my killer hogs over there too, uh, all season. Oh. Uh, once again, it's not over in the barbecue section, it's in the grocery section. Now, Killer Hogs, uh, Malcolm Reed's How to Barbecue Right Rub, very, very good. Um, I use that particular one on my briskets, uh, but uh, you find that over in the grocery area. So, there you saw I flipped them over and I put uh, rub on both sides. I've got the old trusty uh, pellet grill, the Rectech RT700 warming up out there. I have it set for 250 degrees right now. We're going to set a timer uh, for 15 minutes and then we're going to go out and check these every 15 minutes till they're done. I'm thinking maybe 45 minutes, 
Uh, all I want to see is that the prosciutto darkens up a little bit, cream cheese softens up some, and then your uh, jalapeno uh, kind of looks like it's starting to get uh, cooked. Grill is up to temperature. Gonna set them right in there. Let them go. All right. So we'll set a timer for 15 minutes, and uh, we'll come out and take a look at them. Then I'm hoping 45 minutes. We'll see. All right. 15 minutes deep. Let's have a look. Fifteen more minutes. That's it up there. Those are getting nice and soft. Green cheese is doing what it's supposed to do. Been on for a full hour. jelly and cream cheese let's try one of these bad boys all right i got my lipton iced tea here iced tea lip lemon mm. just in case let's grab one of these let's have a look at it let's try it <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. So that cream cheese, awesome. That pepper jelly, awesome. Prosciutto, it's okay. It's okay. Um, not bad. Definitely uh, got a lot of flavor. All right, so you saw how I did that, where I uh, cut the jalapenos in half, cleaned out all the uh, veins and the uh, seeds. Um, then I filled them with Tillamook uh, cream cheese, good stuff. And then um, I also topped them with this apricot pepper jelly. Now, you can get this, uh, probably at like a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's, um, more of your, uh, you know, natural uh, type grocery stores. I'm sure now the major chains of grocery stores will have some kind of pepper jelly, uh, jalapeno pepper jelly um, that you can do that with. Uh, that. And then the uh, prosciutto, um, that I picked up at Costco. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's fine. I would think uh, bacon wrap would be better, uh, thick cut bacon. And um, then in that case, I would probably start out my grill at 300 so that bacon's getting uh, <clears throat> basically fried um, in the heat. Um, but this here, I started out at 250 for a half hour. Then I kicked it up to 300 for the uh, next half hour, I checked it every 15 minutes, and uh, yeah, 
that's what we got right there deliciousness i'm telling you that is good um and the prosciutto is fine i mean obviously it crisped up some so uh delicious and uh easy to do um great great little appetizer uh, for any party like i always say you can do this too it's not that hard thank you for watching my friends till next time grill on oh yeah those are good more, more.